Alright, so we're just going to keep running through this. Alright, and a lot of times this guy's not going to go all the way flat, but we'll get this crawl space and it'll stay in his base. So we've been working this position. Chop, 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 ankle ride. And again, this ankle ride's super versatile. I talk about AJ Shop a lot. He got an ankle ride. He would just come over top of the arm right here. Which it doesn't look like I got a lot of control, but thigh pride, finger control, ankle ride, this guy's not going anywhere. If he fights his hand inside, you got a wrist. If he fights his hand away, you got inside control. We can always come over top for a cross face. This is a good home base if you're a cradle wrist tilt guy. We're just focusing on cradle ride right now, and I don't want you trying to get the cross face right here. Again, you can even stay thigh pride if you want, but we're up here in the pack. Okay, elevate, overload that far side, chest big. If you're a leg rider, you can throw your leg in here, but we're talking about cradles. Pop the elbow, pinky on the elbow, trap the shoulder. Now once we got the shoulder trapped, it's all about pressure here, circle lift. Circle and lift it. Now, a lot of times we'll get this cradle locked up right here and he'll be kind of sitting up. We want that shoulder to breathe. A lot of times we get real anxious, we rip it back. And this guy starts flopping around. One of those, those super flexible guys. Any slow, patient squeeze. That's what I want you guys to think about. Anytime I'm pinning a guy, slow, patient squeeze. So we get that cradle locked up and they're sitting up, slow squeeze on the way back. Don't rip it back. Okay? Patient there. Now, a lot of times we'll get this cross face, and this guy will kind of stay up in his base. Okay? We'll keep working there. Double side pry jam, twist, twist, rip. Okay, and I start getting my elevation right here. And I start getting my cross face, right? But this guy don't want to go down to his elbow. He's going to step his outside foot up, right there. Come in, step it up. And he's fighting back into me. Does everybody see where I'm going now? I'm just going to slide off, boom, right here to the hole, right? If they step up to fight, I just go to the next best thing. We talked a lot about that at hand fight camp this weekend, right? Next best thing. Do not step in front of this leg. It's not a benefit. This guy might hook me, make things real tough for me. Don't step up in front. Grab your own wrist, let that shoulder breathe, coming straight back. Same thing. You want to hook over, you want to go bottom me in the hip crease, we're perfectly fine there. But I want this guy, it's cross face on me, right? Rack cross legs. He's really starting to be right here. I'm gonna twist my hips right there. The minute they twist and step up is the minute they know they're in trouble. We're gonna grab our own wrist. Watch me slide up to this side. Get knees behind my right leg. Right there. And this is slow squeeze back. Okay. Then we're adjusting from there. So bottom guy, make sure as they're twisting you up. Starting to get crunched down, rotate those hips back. Like I said, they're gonna think post, don't go to your shoulder, and then right when they do, they're gonna realize they made it worse for themselves. All right? They can only turn a couple ways. They turn away, we cradle them. They turn in, we cradle them. Alright? Anybody need to see it again? One more time. Alright, don't stop pride. Can't get twist. Elevate, elevate, elevate. Start attacking here. Cross face, pinky on the elbow, I'm still going, still going. Right there, okay? You can even slide off with your shoulder. I'm okay with this. Make sure we're grabbing our own wrist, taking them back slow. Right there, 